In the quiet halls of the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy, lies a piece of cloth that has puzzled historians, scientists, and the faithful for centuries, the Shroud of Turin. The enigmatic fabric, bearing the faint image of a man who appears to have suffered physical trauma in a manner consistent with crucifixion, has been a subject of intrigue and veneration, arguably one of the most analyzed artifacts in human history. Yet, the mystery that has everyone talking isn't just about whether it was the burial shroud of Jesus of Nazareth, but the secrets locked within its very threads, the DNA. Recent advancements in molecular biology have allowed researchers to peer deeper into the fibers of the shroud than ever before. With cutting-edge technology, they have extracted and sequenced DNA from the dust and debris that the cloth has accumulated over the millennia. This isn't just any DNA. It's a historical ledger, a genetic record that tells of the myriad of individuals who have come into contact with the Shroud throughout its storied existence. The Shroud's DNA map reveals a stunning tapestry of genetic fingerprints from all over the world. Not only does this affirm the Shroud's extensive travel history, being transferred from Jerusalem to Edessa, to Constantinople, and finally to Turin, but it also indicates a multitude of handlers, admirers, and perhaps even skeptics who have touched the cloth, leaving behind a microscopic piece of their existence. A fascinating discovery in this genetic mosaic is the presence of plant DNA. Pollen grains embedded in the fibers point to specific plant species from the Middle East, Europe, and even Asia, suggesting not only the Shroud's geographic history but also the wide variety of environments and ceremonies it has witnessed. This botanical evidence aligns with historical records of the Shroud's journey and provides tantalizing clues to ancient trade routes and cultural interchanges. However, the DNA analysis brings us face to face with one of the greatest challenges in unraveling the Shroud's secrets contamination. Over the centuries, the fabric has been handled by countless individuals, been through fires, water damage, and even repairs. Each incident has introduced new DNA, complicating the task of distinguishing the original genetic material from later contaminants. Despite the complexity, diligent scientists have attempted to extract and identify ancient DNA strands specific to the time of Christ. But here's where things get even more intriguing. The degradation of DNA over time is inevitable. Breaks in the molecular chain occur, and contamination muddies the waters further. Therefore, some researchers propose a radical idea. The Shroud's real DNA evidence may not lie in the strands themselves, but in the story they collectively narrate, how the Shroud is a reflection of humanity's shared history and cultural interactions. In our quest to understand the mysterious image on the Shroud, DNA also presents an unexpected dilemma. While the fabric itself can be subjected to radiocarbon dating, DNA cannot give us a precise age of the image. Instead, it offers a record of the journey and the people who have safeguarded the relic. The image remains an enigma, a silent witness that refuses to divulge its age or origins through the language of genes. Some argue that the DNA evidence thus far neither confirms nor denies the Shroud's authenticity as the burial cloth of Jesus. Rather, it speaks more about the people and the societies that have revered it. The very fabric of the Shroud of Turin has become a living document, a chronicle of faith, curiosity, and reverence that transcends the boundaries of time and geography. As we step back, we see the Shroud not merely as an object of religious significance or a puzzle for scientific inquiry, but as a mirror reflecting the human condition. It tells a story of belief, skepticism, and the relentless pursuit of answers, a narrative that stretches far beyond the fibers of the cloth and into the heart of what it means to seek truth in our world. So, the secret of the Shroud of Turin's DNA is not just in the ancient codes that may connect to a historical figure or the pollen that traces its silent travel. It's in the collective story of humanity that it quietly bears, a fabric interwoven with the threads of countless lives, beliefs, and cultures. This is the story that continues to captivate, a sacred mystery that science and faith together may one day unravel. Thank you for journeying with us through the intricate folds of history and science, where we've untangled some of the DNA mysteries of the Shroud of Turin. As we've seen, every piece of evidence adds depth to the Shroud's enigmatic tale reminding us that some of history's greatest secrets remain carefully shrouded, waiting for the day we can finally bring them to light.